see so many of you gathered here together to bring your gifts and your talents to worship the Lord in thanksgiving for all the graces he bestows upon the wonderful women of this diocese who in so many ways enrich our diocesan life and contribute so beautifully to the building up of the faith. Um, I think it's great to have Rochester come together and it's great to meet new people and to all be at this one event. So I just wanted to hear Immaculate's talk. I read her book a couple years ago and I was just really inspired by her story. Her faith inspires me and it, her courage and the times that she lived through just makes me want to become a better person. She survived the Rwandan genocide, which is not a very easy thing to do. Um, she hid in a bathroom, which is I think three by four. And she hid in there for I think 90 days and uh, her attackers were right outside of her window. She actually heard them calling her name, wanting her to come out so they could massacre her. You know, when the genocide happened and uh, it was my mom who died first, even if I, I couldn't be think I can live without my mom, I, I, somewhere I was grateful that she was the first to go because she did not have to face the death of her children. She did not have to hear how they killed her husband. I can only imagine the kind of death she would have had. And a small part of me felt almost relieved for her. Very strange, but it was there. She... It's hard to put into words because it's, it's a feeling you get when you read her books. You just know that God is protecting her and the angels are surrounding her. And it's an incredible thing to know that someone has gone through so much and was really able to forgive, which is really a superhuman quality. I think in this day and age, it's really important to know that you can forgive. And there's so much going on in this world that needs forgiveness. And you can be superhuman. <laughs>